Well, here's a project that's going to come up. It's a little Harley Davidson golf cart. I think it's Harley Davidson. Looks like it. Uh, it ran years ago. And then it stopped running for some random reason. No clue on it. Um, my wife's gr grandpa doesn't remember why it stopped running, but my guess was a carburetor issue or something like that. I believe it is two stroke. I know it's a Columbia golf cart based on that. It's got like tail lights, nice little bed here. Yeah, this will be a fun project. We'll see uh, when it gets to the house of what exactly is wrong with it, but I'm looking forward to working on this and getting it back to him so he can ride around the farm with it. Got a couple other little projects out here that they could <laughs> could use some work on. So hopefully you guys like this video coming up and we'll uh, get it going shortly. Well, <laughs> I got another project. It's an old Columbia golf cart. It's the same uh, where same place where that blue Ford LGT tractor came from. We are up the tires, and this one's already flat. Got the hood for it or the rooftop, and these look like they're holding air, which is good. Because they were completely flat when I saw it. Um, I really have no clue about this golf cart. Aside from uh, it ran at some point in its life. And as you can see from the amount of dust and dirt on it. It has been sitting for quite a while. Um, I haven't even looked at the engine or I don't even know if there's an engine in it or if it's electric um, I'm guessing it's gas because this seems like it was a wow well, yeah there's a the gas tank oh it's a two stroke it looks like because you usually don't mix gasoline with oil unless you have a two stroke so interesting we'll have to see you guys can't see in there. Um, we'll have to pick this up another time when I have a second, but figured I just picked it up, got a video of it, and I figured it'd be good just to document what it looks like beforehand and get you guys suited up and ready for tinkering with a fun little project because this is going to make my life uh, a lot easier at my current house because my parents live a mile away and instead of me walking there all the time or driving over there, I can just go and say, hey, hop in the golf cart and let's go. So, yeah, it's interesting. You can see mud daubers are everywhere. You can see the woods, fiberglass is falling apart. Was wired for lights at some point. I don't know how much you can see. I don't know if there's an actual stop or brake light switch on there, but I'm interested to see how this thing will go once I get running. It looks like something's already falling off. What a great way to start this. So, thank you guys for joining me thus far and give me a, a day or two to get the rest of this video uploaded. Um, or filmed and then I will hopefully <laughs> go have some fun riding in it alright have a wonderful day well we have the back lifted up apparently that's how these things work it looks like we're already missing a drive belt which I think he's in the back of the truck. He threw that at me the last minute. Said, "Oh, you might need this." It looks like there's a horn. Just the. 
Brakes look like they work. Looks like it's just a simple differential connected to a air-cooled two-stroke. Tilted on its side, <laughs> weird angles. Really unique little setup here. Um, battery is completely disconnected and the wiring <clears throat> is missing. I don't know a whole lot about it. It's still on the trailer, so it's gonna sway a little bit. It looks like over here, oh no. Oh, the carburetor is just completely opened up. There is no <laughs> air filter element on it. Which, yuck. Air filter probably has a bunch of gook in it. generator on it. There's a sign on it. Oh. Trying to figure out the wiring diagram on this. Figure out the wiring. Because what does it need to start? It needs a battery. I'm guessing this is the positive and this is the negative. No clue what that is. It's just not a lot. Oh. It's gonna take a minute to get this thing running. I can tell you that much. I wonder if it's seized. No, it's not seized. It's not seized, which is good. Thankfully, it's cold outside and there's no wasps around because there's mud that would nest everywhere. Looks like there's a couple wasp nests in here. Um, what causes it to start? Huh. So, where would the ground be? So, ignition switches there. It gets a signal from the gas pedal because on golf carts, there's no like turn the ignition key and then crank. You just turn the ignition key on and then it's on. Right? Yeah, that's what it looks like. Because um, the gas pedal to turn. It'll shut off when you when you are coming to a stop or let off the gas pedal and put the brakes on. It'll, the engine just shuts off. The so that means there needs to be a signal from the gas pedal or some mechanism around there, which there does appear be a switch right here on the gas pedal. Let me get some. Let me get some things set up. Um, I'm gonna take a guess and try to just hook up the battery and hook up a couple couple wires that look like they might go to something, and then we will see if it'll spin. I mean, there's no drive belt on it, so it's not going to spin, not going to go anywhere. So, 
Uh, let me get some things set up and then I will bring you right back. All right, let me explain what I've done thus far. Sorry for the shaky hand, I'm holding it one hand. So I got the carburetor off, the starter motor off, and the wiring kind of figured out a little bit. I still don't understand how the starter generator functions because I don't know, does it need two positives? Here, let me walk you over to the bench where I have the starter motor set up. So, we have field one, come on, focus. Field one, directly opposite is field two. Do I need positives on both to create um, the fields? I think I do. And then the housings are ground. And then, so these are your two alternator feeds which that just is a positive and negative. Because that's a DC or 12 volt AC sinusoidal wave coming out from the brushes. Because that's what's connected to the brushes. Also, this is ah, focus camera. I think you spend nice money on a camera. Oh my gosh, come on. All right, I guess you can make out that. All right, we'll try this. There you go, you can see clearly F1 right there. And where was it? It says A1 right there, and that's A2. Sorry. A2 right there. Yeah. So I got that. I think I figured it out just now. Um, I'm gonna hook it back up and see. Took the carburetor off. These, this is the choke, should move freely. And the throttle is also in the same boat. I'm gonna take it apart. I already kinda have, just to see how bad it was. You can see there, the gook. It looks like basically all the fuel just melt or evaporated and the oil was what's left over. So I got the ultrasonic cleaner heating up. And I'm gonna kinda get this thing stored away because I am leaving out of town in a few days to go for a, a engineering meeting that I have, so gonna get it into a storage area where it's safe and it's not gonna get stolen nor water damaged uh, because we do plan to have some rain while I'm gone. But all tires are hold, holding air except for the other one, the back right one. Um, also, I mentioned earlier, see how that sits up there like that? It literally, oh, okay, I'm not gonna be able to do that one-handed heavy but it literally it folds down and then sits here then the seats are bolted all to that so uh, with that in mind I am gonna call it for today uh, thank you guys for joining me hanging out with me uh, if you can subscribe to the channel I appreciate it and I like watching it grow um, I hope that you guys join me on the next episode of this where we actually start to get into it a little bit more than what we have done already it's been, this is going to be a quick one just due to time constraints that I have, but I'm hoping that I will be back at it here shortly. So I'll see you guys in the next one.